whole conviction of my life now rests upon the belief that loneliness, far from being a rare and curious phenomenon, peculiar to myself and to a few other solitary men, is a central and inevitable fact of human existence. When we examine the moments, acts and statements of all kinds of people, not only the grief and ecstasy of the greatest poets, but also the huge unhappiness of the average soul, we find, I think, that they are all suffering from the same thing. The final cause of their complaint is loneliness. In the corner of your perceptions, you may notice me pass through your hectic life. Yet amongst the overwhelming chaos that so many specimens of humanity thrive, you fail to assign any significance. Can you comprehend the consciousness of so many like your own? Each living, breathing, loving and hating within the same labyrinth of industry as you did. Each navigating the same network of congested roads and alleyways every day. I cannot. So this is my place within the great scheme of urban existence. This is my freedom from the city that governs my every instinctive desire to liberate my mind and soul. This is my life in which I freely choose. Running in the night.